how's everyone doing so far? Good. Excellent. See, if you go down the road to Gr uh, Greenwich, you'll come across Noggin's Food Corner. And within the property, you'll come across some old growth forest. Not much old growth forest left in Nova Scotia, mind you. In amongst these majestic beauties are some trails. We'll lead you by a, a poor man's cemetery of unmarked graves from the 1880s to the 1920s. Creepy, even in the daylight. But these trails will also lead you by a, an old Mi'kmaq campsite. As late as the early 1920s, Mi'kmaq would come here to hunt, to fish, and to make baskets. And it is from this site where it's easy to look across and look at the view of Cape Blomden and imagine the lay of the land before the white man. You see, Blomden is a traditional home of Blue's Cat, the Aboriginal Mi'kmaq god, creator, being from afar, man from the east, warrior. Different legends call him different things. But whatever you call him, he is a being of great importance and one who commands great respect. This respect, however, was not on display during Samuel de Champlain's 1604 exploration of the area. You see, local legend would tell us that the natural geological processes that bring us our precious and semi-precious stones found on our beaches did not produce the amethyst, for Glooscap himself placed this purple gem on our beaches for his own personal use. Those that would fall in favor with this legendary warrior would be given a piece of this purple stone as a token of his appreciation. Now when Glooscap was getting ready to leave his people, he placed upon Cape Blomden a large piece of amethyst and on it a curse to whoever would dare remove it. For many years this eye of Glooscap cast a brilliant blaze of light over all of these lands when the sun struck it just so. It's his brilliant blaze, however, that attracted the attention of Samuel D. Champlain, for he and his men took it, returned it to France, to give it to the King of France as a token of their appreciation to him. Now to tie it all together, perhaps you've heard of the Hopewell Diamond, the supposed, so, uh, supposed curse that it has, it has brought upon the French royal family, a curse that has brought the misfortunes as the beheadings of King Louis XVI, Marie Antoinette, the fact that there's no longer a King of France or even a French royal family. Well, that stone was stolen from India. And if you believe in cursed diamonds, perhaps you might also have room to believe that this cursed eye of Blue's Cap could have also played a role in these French misfortunes, for it was also one time part of the French crown of royal jewels. Now in my pocket right now, a lovely specimen from Amethyst Cove. You may look at it, you may pass it along. Do not keep it though, sir. I do not know if this is cursed as well. <laughs> Good evening, everyone.